can the sticky note like stay stuck I can't read my talking points stay <laughs> I don't feel like recording a long intro today I had a makeup idea involving iris project and I want to talk about stuff regarding iris project because it's like one of my favorite things in the world right now that's basically it let's begin by the way, I'm using my camera as a mirror, so if I'm looking at y'all funny, that's why. I don't know why I'm putting so much, like, under my eyes, because it's just going to be covered with a bunch of eyeliner anyway. On that note, can we talk about Antiseptic Eyes Glow Up? I've, I've been an Ego fan since way back in the day, before Auntie even had a canon appearance. And like, this is the best incarnation of him that exists. Like, it's the perfect amount of scary, but also not cringe? I don't like how I worded that. If I saw that thing walking up to me in a dark hallway, I know I'd be dead. Cause that's just horrifying. A whole lot of evolution from the um, uh, original Green Gremlin. I never really liked him just being portrayed as that thing. Cause I always knew he had the potential to be super duper scary, but fandom said no. I was actually never the hugest fan of Anti to begin with was always more of a nightmare girl. But that's just me, my preferences. I don't like hate him, but he's such a well-written antagonist that I love to hate him. Like, all bro wants to do is just destroy stuff. He is a completely irredeemable villain with massive amounts of power, and that's just cool, man. Ooh. I opened the eyeliner and it was like all the way up here. I don't remember doing that. For my film class in college, we were assigned an essay where we could analyze any piece of media that we wanted as long as it stayed within the guidelines of the class. And I chose Chase, the prequel, I guess, to the Iris stream and stuff. Because I thought there was, like, a whole lot to go off of. And there was! I had a blast, like, looking at it at a deeper level. I could go more into detail here, but I think that's better suited to be, like, converted into an actual video essay. But to summarize, there's a lack of spoken dialogue in Chase. And... I think that gives way for the background sounds and the music to really tell the story. And oh my gosh, it was one of my favorite things I've written. I could go into so much detail about it, but now is not the time and place. Editor Meg here. I've decided now actually is the time and place. What I discussed in my essay was the way the audio design reflected Chase's emotional state throughout the video. As the story progresses and he gets more lost in his thoughts, the music intensifies and overtakes the background noises until he finds the memorial and is thrust back into reality. Then, of course, the music fades out and is abruptly replaced by that creepy whirring noise from when T Chase gets teleported. Excuse me. I rewatched the Anomaly Found video and heard some similar things going on. The difference, though, is that the changes in sound volume and intensity reflect Auntie's influence on Chase. The best example of this is during the Dr. Hopkins assessment, when the lights and sounds start to go crazy the more it goes on. We're seeing things from Chase's point of view and watching his distress grow in real time. Another detail I noticed was that every once in a while, a small blip of static can be heard, showing Anti gaining more power and presence in the facility. They're subtle at first, but as the film reaches its conclusion, these small sound bites turn into whispers and laughter until all hell breaks loose. Okay, tangent over, back to the video. The name of the black color in my palette is Abyss, and I find that really appropriate. 
Another thing that I want to talk about is the new character, question mark? Or more like the being that's referred to as Echo by Chase in the film. What happens is like as he's starting to hear things caused by the altars, that a new voice breaks through and it introduces itself as Echo and it's like, you are special, I can help you and stuff. And in a live stream, uh, Sean confirmed that that's not one of the characters we already know. So I'm just like, oh my god, that's exciting. New characters that aren't just the other egos. We're actually getting world building. <laughs> my theory is that it is another altar that's probably been affected by Anti in some way and does not trust Iris and is like, we're going to figure out how to stop these guys because when you think about the way that Chase speaks to it and the way that it speaks to Chase I feel like they're trying to establish a connection become allies and try to work their way out of there but then again Echo doesn't know how to get out of there so maybe they're gonna work together on that Maybe another ego will interfere, and who knows? I don't know. <laughs> you can really tell that I'm a nightmare girl. Look, they got, I got the tears. <laughs> I can't escape. I think it's time to break out this bad boy. My little sister was a zombie for Halloween, so my mom bought a bunch of fake blood, and when Halloween was over, she was like, Hey, do you have use for this? And now I do. So thank you, mom. Shout out to mom, she's awesome. I'm trying to find like a good space on my neck to add the cut. Like this line down here. Yeah, it's a bit too bright. This is not working in my favor. I'm gonna get a wipe and start this part over. That's my one complaint with this palette. I'm using this one by Jaclyn Hill. The neutrals really aren't that neutral. Like, they've either got a ton of glitter on them, or they are super bright orange. I was talking about the potential of other egos being put into the story, and I really can't wait to see how that happens. Because now that the Iris Corporation is a thing, many people have theorized that it's interfered with all of their lives somehow. And I cannot wait to see how it ties all of the other characters together. One example that I can think of right away is that Iris is a technology company and it's got a whole bunch of inventions. Like on its Twitter, you can see the technological advances that it's made. Ugh, excuse me. It's golden flu season. And one, it goes back all the way to 1922. The company is 100 years old. So that links to Jameson. And two, a lot of their technology enhances the human functions, which could give like superhuman powers to Jackie. It also would make sense for Henrik to have some kind of connection because of his medical skills and technology skills. Marvin, I don't know, but I want him to be connected somehow because he is my favorite. It's also very clear in the Argento Mananis video. I don't think that's what the title is on YouTube anymore. But that one, that he is aware of Iris's existence and that they are working with something referred to as antimatter. Anti could be made of antimatter. So there is definitely some kind of connection established between them already, but I don't know how strong it is. Uh-oh. The, the, the thing is stuck. That's great. No, 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 stop sinking, stop sinking. Ah. No. Twenty minutes later. Yeah, so uh, that's not getting out of there. So uh, 
I guess I'm using a regular Q-tip. Oh. I have several different things of this, so like, since this isn't working out too well, I'm gonna see. I could like squeeze a little. Ooh, it's on the floor. It's on me. Oh God. It's anti. The more blood, the merrier. Oh, it's getting the effect I want, though. This shit's gonna stain, I bet. So there's the gore effect. It's very much all over me now. I feel like I need to give myself lipstick because I'm kind of yassifying this. I think this gets the point across. Give me one minute and I will be fully in costume. Um, okay, this looks a whole lot better on camera than I thought it was going to. <laughs> Hello, Chase. I glowed up. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be absolute hell to get off and uh, wish me luck. Okay, thanks, bye. Y yeah, I was right. This stains. Oh.